Greetings, friends. Have you ever stopped a moment to ponder the incredible beauty of the words found in Genesis 1, verse 1? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. How amazing, how wonderful. But then the second verse tells us more. The earth was without form and void. Now, void is an empty space, nothingness. How incredible. God created the earth, the sky, the sun, the moon, the stars, and living things out of nothing at all. What a powerful, loving creator God. And yet this incredible truth is hardly recognized in the world today. The devil has worked hard to obliterate the truth we find in God's word. In John 1, 1 to 5, we read, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him nothing was made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. Nevertheless, God invites us through his power to be lights in the world today, to let the world know that there is a creator God who made them, who loves them, who died for them, and who is one day soon coming back to redeem his own. In order to fully understand the creator, it is important to be out in nature where we can observe and appreciate his creation. In the wonderful book, Christ's Object Lessons, we read the following. Through the creation, we are to become acquainted with the Creator. The book of nature is a great lesson book, which in connection with the scriptures, we are to use in teaching others of his character and guiding lost sheep back to the fold of God. As the works of God are studied, the Holy Spirit flashes conviction into the mind. In these lessons direct from nature, there is a simplicity and purity that makes them of the highest value. All need the teaching to be derived from this source. In itself, the beauty of nature leads the soul away from sin and worldly attractions and toward purity, peace, and God. Thus the mental powers will be strengthened, the character developed, the whole life ennobled. Friends, this coming Sabbath has been designated as Creation Sabbath, a beautiful time to reflect on the beauty of creation and of our Creator. This worldwide celebration of creation is organized by the Geoscience Research Institute, an entity of the Seventh-day Adventist Church that specializes in original research and the study of scientific and biblical literature. On the website creationsabbath.net, you will find many wonderful resources to help you celebrate this event. And as we close today, I would like to share with you a short but beautiful video from that website titled, God's Enduring Song of Love, celebrating this special day, Creation Sabbath. May the Lord bless you today and in the coming days as you remember that He is our Creator, Redeemer, and Friend. A nightly ritual at the close of every day as the setting sun stretches its long amber beams across the rose quartz sky they gather
coming together to take to the air in perfect synchronization. It's a phenomenon without explanation. A mysterious dance of communal praise, swirling and diving in a glorious living cloud. The natural inclination of the created to exalt its creator in movement and song. Nature is God's enduring song of love, and nowhere is his love more beautifully expressed than in mankind, the crowning act of creation. We are God's beautiful and complex divine symphony, the climax of his creative artistry. As we take in the beauty of the world around us, the world he created for our pleasure, our hearts cannot help but be lifted to the Creator in praise. Over and over again, He tells us through His created works that He loves us, that He desires to commune with us, that He will never leave us nor forsake us.